Hey YouTube, in today's video we're going to cover how to do native filtering in Webflow without any code. There's a lot of options for filtering and most of them require code and only filter the items on the page. So if you have a collection list with 500 items, you can only show the first 100 before having to use pagination. Well, in that case, a lot of these filter options only filter the first 100 in the set and you're not getting results from the rest of the pages. So with this option, um, it will filter all the items, no matter how many there are. The only drawback is you can only select one filter type at a time. So like if we were to look at all jobs from a particular industry, and we decide we also want to add job function, it now switched us to the job function or the job city, not just the industry and the city together. So that is the one drawback to this option. So this is how you do it. You set up the native like um, collection list with whatever the item is you wanna filter. In this case, it's sermons for me. And then I'm gonna filter by topic and speaker. So I have two drop downs here. Um, they don't have to be drop downs. It could be a side panel, whatever you want it to be. Um, but we just need something to hold two separate collection lists. And in this case, I'm using this drop down component from Webflow. So what we're gonna need to do is we have the sermons collection and with all the items we plan to filter, we need to add a collection for each dropdown that we plan to use. So I'll add one for um, topic, and this will be all the topics of each sermon, and I'll add another for speaker. And this will be the speaker of each sermon. And I'll just create these, and then I'm gonna add these in so we can see what they look like. So the great thing about this method is your client can easily add and remove filter options later on down the road. Um, super easy to manage your different filters using this method. And it's very scalable. So once we have that, we need to actually connect these dropdowns to the sermons collection. So we're gonna open up the settings for the sermon collection, and you can either add a reference field or a multi-reference field. If you want someone to be able to add multiple topics to one sermon, you would need to use a multi-reference field. So from here, I'm gonna say add topic, and I'm gonna select the topics collection and make this field required and save. I'm gonna add one more multi-reference field, and this one's gonna be called add speakers. And I'm gonna select the speakers collection and make this required. So then I'm going to go ahead and tie um, each of these sermons to at least one topic and at least one speaker. That way we can kind of see how it's going to work with the filtering. Then maybe I'll just make this one have all of them. All right, so once we have that set up, we can go ahead and add in our collection list for each of these. So I'm just gonna drag a collection list onto the page and where we're gonna need it to be in this case is right inside the dropdown list. And I'm gonna need to pull this um, from the topics in this case. So this is the topics collection. And inside the collection item, I'll just drag in a link. And then for this link, um, I'll open this dropdown up so you can see what it's looking like. So each of them have this test link. I need to get the name from the actual name of the filter item, and then I need to link it to its own collection page, the current topic. Um, and then we just need to do the exact same thing for the second filter. So I'll drag that in and drag that under the dropdown list, open it up. This dropdown link goes inside the item um, right in here. I'll just copy it and paste it in. Oh, I had to link it. Huh. So we need to link this this time to the speakers collection and I'll paste it inside the item. And then from here, we need to get the text from the name and we need to link it to the collection page. So once that's set up, I'm, what I'm gonna do is copy everything on this page. So I'm just gonna grab this div and copy it. So everything on the sermons page, I need to make an exact copy of for the collection page of speaker and topic. If we go to the speakers page, I'm just gonna paste in the items. Then I go to the topics page. And then from here, I'll paste in the items as well. So we're on the topics page. What we need to do is, first of all, I'll grab these, uh, this collection. Uh, well, let's grab the collection items right here. And then I'll add a filter. 
that says this uh, adds, uh, add topics field that we just created uh, contains the current topic, whatever topic we're on. And in that case, I'm going to change this text so we can actually see what topic we're on. Get text from the collection page name, which is faith. So we're seeing all the topics, all the uh, sermons that contain the topic of faith. And then I open up this menu and maybe there's it could be a lot of links in here and maybe you don't want to see the one that you're already on because it's kind of redundant so what you could do is just grab the collection list and add a filter and say topic is not the current topic so it's just going to remove faith from the list since we're on the faith topic so now all we had to do is the exact same thing for the speakers template so if we go to speakers select the collection list we're going to add a filter and this time it's going to be is the add speakers filter contains current speaker do the exact same process of get the name uh, in this case it's pastor jim and then i want to select that collection list and from here i want to add a filter of speaker is not the current speaker so if we were to test this out i'll just go back to the main sermons page so we can see um, kind of what this is going to look like so on the sermons page, um, we can filter by topic. And if I select any of these, say I select love, now you see we're only viewing the sermons with the uh, topic of love. And then if I select maybe Pastor Mark for a speaker name, I'm only seeing the sermons that he's tagged in. So that's how you can do dynamic filtering in Webflow um, without any code. I hope you've enjoyed.